Hi and welcome to the vlog. Actually I'm going to call this the Montenegro vlog 2017 wrap episode because we're not in Montenegro anymore. Uh, I've got two cameras running at the moment so it's going to be interesting when I put this together. Um, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Um, yeah okay so we got back uh, yesterday about midday. We took a very different route to come back. Uh, our traditional route when we went to Montenegro was different this year because instead of going to Yaitza and then to Bogoino and then Prozor and then over the mountain into Herzegovina and then into Jablanica and then Stolac and Trebinje and then across the mountains uh, into Montenegro went a, another way. If you want to check it out on the map you can because we went south from Banja Luka to Mekonicgrad then we hung a right and we went to Shipovo and to Kuprez and past Tomislavgrad. Where else did we go? Um, and then we went to Shiroki Brieg, pronunciation mess up of the day, Shiroki Brieg, and then we went to Mostar. And then we stayed overnight with our friend Jella, who is a Belgian biking in Bosnia here on uh, BIH, sorry, here on um, Facebook and YouTube and Vidme and wherever else you're seeing this. Uh, and we stayed in Black Eye overnight and then got up in the morning because it was so roasting during the day to drive. And then we made our way as you know by following the uh, episodes that are here in this season or you were following it live you know then we, we, we made this pause and on the way back we did the same we left Montenegro went to Black Eye there's a video about uh, the short break we made in Black Eye and then we left yesterday morning very very early uh, and then drove uh, back home Banja Luka, Black Tarshi to the Shire um, that reverse way and it was really really cool it was really really cool it was really really cool uh, and then we had a lunch because that's a traditional thing with Tam's family having a lunch coming having everything ready for you and then getting back here uh, and it's really nice it's been a lazy day for me today but um, I just thought I'd do like a, a recap uh, and coming back and in no order of preference thank you very much indeed for everybody that was commenting um, one of the things that's come out of uh, the vlogs is that Michael, who's an Englishman in Australia, in Perth, now get this, uh, is going to be in KOTOR on the 29th of August. Now we're going back um, for our second visit of the year, so that's going to be the Montenegro vlog 2017 season 2. Um, but he's coming in on the Norwegian Star, a cruise liner, on the 29th of August and I am really hoping that to catch up with him. So as he comes down the gangplank, uh, that we can take him into KOTOR before he does his walk around and gets back on for the rest of his Dalmatian cruise, that we can maybe catch up. I don't know, we might even take uh, a gift from up here. We might, we might. Let's see. Um, it was too, too hot to go and do things really. Um, I don't suffer really well with the heat and Tam was struggling a little bit. And I think that you saw that. Um, and some of you made comments about that, but it, it's all about my lifestyle and my living ex uh, adventures um, in the Balkans. It was great on the way down because we managed to go swimming uh, with Yella, and that was that was cool. And he also took uh, me around Black Eye at night, uh, which was amazingly great. I went up some tracks I didn't know existed, uh, but I know that I have to take a better camera next time I do night shots there. On the way back, uh, when we got to Black Eye. It was so hot, uh, we were overcome really with the heat, uh, so we spent a lot of the afternoon um, just crashed until the heat died down and in the evening went for a walk in Black Eye. And that's where you got uh, episode 12's um, content from, so I hope you enjoyed um, Black Eye. Back now home, it's really nice to be back with Cooper and Linda the dogs and the cats, Marco, Tiggy. Sheila Sheila and uh, Badu. Problem though today, Badu's been limping and crying a lot this morning. Um, he was resting for a little bit and then we started looking at him and it looks like he's been bitten maybe twice by a snake. We don't have too many snakes here. Uh, I don't think we had any poisonous vipers but I know that not so far away, away about 10 kilometers there are away and we do have some long grass here and the river 
I don't know, maybe they're, they're, they're leaving the river banks because uh, we haven't been down to the river yet. I want to go down there tomorrow, but maybe the, the beds, the river beds are uh, a little bit drier. But what I wanted to say was I'm recording this as well. What I wanted also to say, so I'm recording this on my Canon GX7 and this is what we did. Um, there you go. This is what we did this series of vlogs with. This is the DJI uh, Osmo Mobile that Jules Story in Australia has been asking me if I've got used to it and it was a year and I just couldn't get my head around it. Suddenly everything clicked. With my OnePlus 3, uh, hopefully get a OnePlus 5 this year. Excellent cameras on this, fits into the cradle nicely. And also, in case you're interested, if, you, if you're one of those geeky type of people, I recorded 99% uh, of the content from KOTOR on this phone with this um, stabilizer and I edited everything using KineMaster check it out um, the KineMaster app for Android on this uh, not only was I able to edit but I could mix audio I'm learning how to mix more and more creative titles and also started doing a little bit of color correction so um, do I need to have the big cameras like most vloggers use I'm going to say I don't. I really had a blast using this um, and you can see my Joby tripod with the bendy legs gave me extra height um, and although it's it's not working as good as it should do because the legs are sort of like not as stiff, does that make sense? I managed to connect it um, to the major um, grip of the stabilizer itself of the DJI uh, Osmo Mobile. There is a, a proper base and my sister's coming from England. She arrives um, either on Sunday or Monday and uh, I've just ordered one. She doesn't know it yet but I've ordered one through Amazon and it will be going to her in Britain and she'll be bringing it. So that's it. That's the wrap from... Um, let me put myself on here. I'm back. I might edit these together you see. No, I'm telling you. I might edit this on this. This on this we'll just have to, to see. see but this is the wrap for the montenegro uh season one season two last week of august we start again and can i ask you to help me out uh, i'm going to start posting videos i'm going to maybe take a break tomorrow the day after i, I want to start putting content up again and i would like you to see, I, I think i'd like to call it the balkan vlog with a season and an episode number, which I think will be better than having random titles, and then put on the end of it Bosnia Herzegovina or Croatia or Serbia, wherever I'm going, because I will be going to Novi Sad um, at the end of this month as well. So, what do you think? If you could just comment, that'd be great. And we are getting people commenting, it's brilliant. And I'm 1,198 subscribers. If I could get to 2,000, that'd be brilliant. Anyway, enough of that for today. Whew the office in the air conditioning wherever you are stay safe and i'll catch you on the next one